Okay, now we'll go ahead and put together the medium size box, which is assembled pretty much like the small box. Um, you're gonna take your, your lid with your flap here and glue the bottom and the front of the box to that. So let's go ahead and just put some adhesive on this strip right here. And we'll glue this in place. Okay, so now that that's in place, we need to install the two sides, and they look like this. So you'll just go ahead and put glue on these three flaps and put them on this side here. Okay, so now we just need to do the same thing for the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and fold those glue tabs. Okay, so now the second box is complete and we'll set it aside. Okay, the third box is assembled exactly the same way. The pieces are just larger. So this is your, your front and your top and then your back here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and glue these two pieces together here. Okay, now we just need to install the two sides. Okay, so now we'll just repeat that same process for the other side of the box. Okay, so now your third box is put together. So now we'll take our stack of boxes. Now you could install um, some magnets to keep these closed or maybe a little, um, I don't know, a little Velcro or something like that. So I went ahead and installed some little magnetic snaps to hold the boxes closed. They're a basic gray magnetic snap. You can find them online. So they're kind of fun to, I just love to feel that little snap when they close. So I've designed these boxes to all be the same depth as you can see. So we're gonna do a little band that um, holds the boxes together. So let me set those aside for a minute. And these are the pieces for the band and the bow. So to complete the band, you just need to glue these two long strips together. Um, just to form a big circle basically. Make sure that your glue is on the inside and that it's not going to show on the outside of your project. So when you pull that around just make sure you glue that on the inside. Okay so that forms our band and that will just slip over our box. Okay, so let me just lay those down and we'll slip this band right over the whole set of boxes. Okay, so once you kind of center that, that's what your little stack should look like, like that. So I'm gonna set that aside and we'll make our little bow real quick. So this is how the bow is formed. Um, you're gonna need a stapler for this. So I grab my stapler. Um, just go ahead and fold. You're gonna to wanna to kind of curve. In fact, I use the edge of my table. I can't show that on the screen, so I'll just use the edge of the stapler here. But if you kind of bend these and kind of get them going into a, a rounded shape, it really helps so that they don't crease. But you can just um, wrap those around and I like to put a staple right there in the middle. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Okay, so there's my bow and it's got its little staple. In fact, I should have creased that or bent that a little bit better, formed that a little bit better before I cre it made a little crease. So hopefully you catch that before you do that. But um, now you have the little rectangle piece here with the score lines and that folds perfectly to wrap right around the center. I'm going to put a little adhesive on that first. So just go ahead and I'm going to start on the back side and just wrap that right around. Just glue it to itself on the back here. Just 
get it to be kind of squared up. Okay, so that's our bow. And then I've included some little um, flags, little ribbon ends, and I'm gonna curve those a little too on the edge of my table here. And just kind of form them to look like that. There we go. I'm gonna kind of pinch that real good with my hand so it stays in place. So there you have your cute little set of boxes and your darling little bow on top. These would be fun to put under the Christmas tree and use them year after year. So I hope you enjoy making these. Have a great day. Bye-bye.